Alone in the Dark. This is the brand new one, just came out. It does feature two major actors. Uh, you'll probably know this guy as Hopper from Stranger Things. And if you watch Killing Eve, then you know Jodie Comer. Uh, she plays the other character. Now, basically, it plays very much like the, uh, you know, like those, you know, that we got a whole remake thing going on with the Resident Evil stuff where it's over the shoulder, you know, Resident Evil 2 remake, 3 remake, and 4. Same style for this. It feels much more Resident Evil 2-like in that you have a story campaign for him and then a story campaign for her. Um, and you choose who you play as at the start of the game, okay? It's got the puzzles. It's very Resident Evil-like. You got the puzzles. You got, you got the shooty-shoot combat, you know, very... Um, if, you, if you're thinking of Resident Evil 1, where they go through the mansion, that's this Alone in the Dark. Now, Alone in the Dark came out in 1992 or 4. I think it's... You know, I can double-check that real quick right now because I got this deluxe thing. It has classic characters. 1992. Yeah, the 1992 classic characters are in the game, uh, which predates uh resident evil by uh by the way so but this game I, I don't know if it's a full-on remake or if they're changing stuff i don't know but it's it's basically a retelling of the 1992 story and i don't know if they change that story element as we go or if they're it's completely different i, I don't know yeah yeah all i know right now is that it's set in the 1920s I chose the detective to start. The lady, uh, Emily, is investigating th something going on with her family's uh, household here. There are other residents in here, and we've already dealt with some crazy psychedelic stuff of these crazy weird monsters that have attacked us. So the gameplay is exactly as you expect. You're exploring a mansion, finding artifacts, uh, collecting stuff, and doing the investigation. It's all voiced. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Which is great. It's all voiced. That's fantastic. So yay for that. And I think uh, if you've been waiting for it, I think you're going to be pleasantly happy. Especially if you love the Resident Evil style. If you love this style, over the shoulder, investigative, puzzle solving, dealing with monsters, and a pretty damn good story right now. Because you're trying to find out what happened in this 1920s detective kind of uh, story. I'm, I'm all in. I enjoyed the hell out of this. They've done a good job. They did good. I thought they were going to screw it up. But they did, you know, I thought it was going to run by its star power. But the gameplay is solid. And you're going to love it. I think uh, any, any horror fans are probably going to have a good time with this Alone in the Dark return. So that's my how is it. Thanks.